everybody, it's your friend Mickey here, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've changed it up a bit. Um, I'm no longer just doing exclusive content that's for just going on Disney adventures, because you know where the way the economy is right now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to continue to keep doing them. So I'm making this a daily vlog channel, basically a journal, a daily journal, kind of like a diary. So, dear diary, <laughs> what's up? It's me, and today is the first day of hopefully I can do this journey. It's August 1st, and I have 33 days until Courtney's wedding. So here's some clips and highlights of Courtney's bridal shower. Well, she actually had two, so check these out. Welcome today to um, my daughter's <laughs> Bridal shower! <laughs> Harry Potter themed! <laughs> so, we are gonna uh, enjoy the day, but it's really sweltering hot in here. The air conditioning is terrible, so I'm melting. Yay! Yay! It's Harry Potter time! <laughs> Everybody has to pick what house they're going to be in. So they'll reach in here and they'll pull out a name and that's where they're going to sit in their house. Yes, girl, if you want to make strength over there behind the counter. I got pinkies in back there. In the, yeah, they're in the thing. Hi, Miss Eva! No, no, no. You just want to all see her reaction. Turn it up! Turn it up! Come on, Kat! What do you think? It's great. <laughs> it's awesome. You go tell your grandmother because she. Yeah, I know. I figured. Are you okay? You look like you're having a hot I, I, no, I'm, I'm, Her and I, her and I are melting. We are melting. We're melting. Hello, bride. How do you feel? Weird. It's the first like wedding event thing. Yes, it's pretty awesome. Weird. It's real now. I know. I know. Two weeks we go get our license. Dun 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 dun. Wait till your gifts. Your gifts are pretty bad. Pretty pretty amazing. Anybody popped a bottle? We have not popped a bottle officially. No.
Okay, so let's go over this real quickly. So you can see we have all the different houses. And this is Lydia Spot family that's here having this bridal shower for her. The bridal party is sitting up there up top like they're the headmasters. Um, and each house is separated. Now over here we have... There's some on this table right there. Here we have the gifts. Over here is our cupcakes and cookies that were actually made by a former dance mom of ours. We have some sweet golden snitches. And then we have, again, made by a former dance mom of ours. Shout out Mary Chenwa, she's amazing. Uh, she made us all of these yummy food items here. And then we also have where you can make a wand the pretzel rod and over here is some games oh my gosh it is so flipping hot in here this is crazy and then this is our drinking or potion station where you can have skewers to put in your drinks we have the kids versions where they can put candy and stuff in their drinks and then for us adults we have where we can have the champagne chomps. It's her China. That is awesome. I want to go see a movie in the Sonic Movie Theater. That would be cool as heck.
like the mobility. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvie, you win. Sylvie, you win! The pop tots for the grand giggle. What would you like to drink? Milk? Yes. Okay, let's put some milk in here for the grand giggle. That's it for the milk. Yes. In a frozen cup. You can put it right there. <laughs> you can put it over there. But then you Why is it heavy? Because it's all the milk. Put it over Take there. Take a drink. It's good for you. Drink that milk. Drink that milk. Drink that milk. Don't work. <laughs> all right, Miss Abby, what are you planning to do today? Play a game? Play a game? Play? Um, I would love it that you're not playing on that thing all day. I'm playing a game. I know, but uh, we can't be playing on the phone all day long. It's yeah. your last week of summer before you go back to school, so we need to find some other activities. I'm not ready. Get out! Yeah. As I'm getting ready for the day, I think today I'm going to have to mow my yard. My yard is pretty bad. It's been like that for a while now. I just haven't been motivated. And it's so hot. And with my menopause now, and it's really bad, I am like on fire all the time. So I'm already hot because of the summer heat. And then I have the internal heat. I'm, it, it's miserable. I hate going through the change. And you other ladies that are like me that are going through it too. <sighs> I used to think that menopausal women were like full of it or that they were like over dramatic. No, never again. I will never make fun of a menopausal woman. I, I probably have the worst. <laughs> All right, you're a little crazy. <laughs> Stop! Sit! Sit, Rosebud. Be a good girl. I think I'm a mighty girl and a crazy little puppy. Stop! Rosebud, sit. You're not going to listen. Okay. All right, so my dog's trying to be a little... Hyper, they're not used to me coming outside in this heat. So they're very excited. I think they think I'm gonna get them back in the house. You guys wanna go back inside? All right, let's go back inside. All right, I'll let them back in. It, it's quite warm already, and it's not even noon yet. Back in the house. You see all this? That's the dogs jumping onto my window. Look at how high they can jump with their dirty paws. And I have not cleaned that yet either. Okay, so this is the yard fiasco that I told you about. 
So maybe later when it's cooled off, I'll mow that. I don't know. And then I have all these bushes growing up everywhere. I just, I'm over it. I'm over all of it. I'm ready for fall to get here. Who's with me? All right, here's another jungle bush. I guess my husband did get some of it knocked down yesterday, but not a lot. Because at least now we can get straight to our mailbox. Such a mess. I hate yard work. I hate it. My mother is the one that, when she used to live in this house, she had put up all these like pretty bushes and flowers and all that. I am not that person. So maintaining it has not been one of my priorities. Do you see these things? They are floating. What in the even heck? I wanna say those are some kind of worms or something. Crazy. There's like one there. Here's another one. And I've got another one over here. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's kind of trippy. There's one hanging up there. There's another one hanging over there somewhere. They're kind of like all over. Ah! Don't get out of my face. So I got yard sounds going on behind me. There's people mowing. Trucks and cars going by on my street. But it's nice and cool out here. And it's good for me to be outside. And it's good for me to survey the nightmare that needs to be done with the mowing. Good thing I have a rider. If I did, if I had to push mow all of this, forget it. It would never happen. So um, I'm gonna have to get on the rider this afternoon and actually mow this sucker. And I'm not looking forward to it. All right, so Aubrey says she's going to make my coffee. Where's the cream? Eh? Uh, it's not in there, so you have to get the whipped cream. Because that's what I use when I don't have creamer. Can you put the whipped cream in? I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to use the whipped cream. But first thing you got to do, look. It's put water. Yeah, we have no water in that. Nope. You got to put water in there. Let me get my steps. All right, you get your step stool. We had tacos last night, and please tell me. Look. I know I can't be the only one that leaves stuff out all night long. And it's stupid, too, because I, like I can't use these taco shells anymore now. What a waste. I always get lazy and forget and get tired and forget to put them away. I mean, I guess I can save this cheese. Oh, but you know what? The dogs get a nice tasty treat. Here, dogs. Most foot's ready. Oh, I bet. So we'll be Puka. Puka! Look at leftovers for the dogs. There you go, guys. You know. Now, now what? <laughs> All right, so we have the water is in here. What kind of? All right, so in the Keurig, I like to have the muffin, <laughs> the blended breakfast. Even though I wish it was a Starbucks, but I just can't afford it right now. So we have the cheapy. How do you open that? Four dollar ones. Versus the ten dollar Starbucks, and we close that sucker all the way down. It's good. Wait, ah, 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 ah. It's a cup. You need to put that. There you go. And push number six. Nope, that turns it off. Up, oh, yep. There you go. Now press this. You gotta reopen this. It's gotta be blinking. Now push number six. And the coffee is being 
broom. It'll take a second. There it goes. Yes. High five. I need to put the roof. Can I get a high five from you, please? That was great. We are pretty much done. I got my coffee now, thanks to Aubrey. <laughs> She's having her banana now. <laughs> She's a little monkey. So um, that's it for today. Just kind of giving you a catch up on what we're doing. We are still wanting to go to Disney World again, right? And it's going to be me and Aubrey. But you'll have to come back tomorrow because I think tomorrow we're going to film what we're going to be doing tomorrow. We're going to pick our vacation for our next Walt Disney World trip. I think so. I think that's what we're going to do. And um, I'm going to let Aubrey pick where we're going to stay. So we'll go over that tomorrow. We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Thanks for joining me today and catching up with us. Uh, make sure you go down and check out the link in the description box below. There you can see what we were doing all last month, which was at our dance nationals for the dance studio that we own. And you can see Aubrey competing there. It was really amazing. We had a great week. I'll put that down below. You can go check that out. Um, and um, yeah. So thanks for joining me. That's my day one here, August 1st, counting down for the whole month of August, counting down to the wedding. We have 33 days. So this is day 33 <sighs> until the wedding. Mother of the bride, lots, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. It's really a lot more than what I realized. So we got the two bridal showers done and, uh, I'm not going to give away. I'm going to let Madeline and Courtney tell you guys about where they are going for Courtney's bachelorette party. <laughs> and I'll give you more details about the wedding as we get closer in talking about it. But um, as of right now, that was what we had full right now. Just the two bridal showers. So one bridal shower because... The whole point of having two bridal showers too, by the way, was that um, her family up, her new family up in Seneca, it's a whole two hours away from where we live right now. So um, it was just easier for them to throw one up there and have all of their local family and friends come to that one. And then the dance studio pretty much down here is what threw her other bridal shower. It was like kind of like a dance studio bridal shower. So she had two. She's pretty spoiled. <laughs> Wouldn't be my Courtney if she didn't have two bridal showers. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's it. All right. Hey, get down. You cannot climb up on that thing. I want to shut down. Huh? No, I don't want you to be silly. Aubrey, there's grandma for the cover. Look, and there's the hubby. Go, 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 hide, hide, go, hide. Good. <laughs> All right, we'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out, guys. Love you. Bye.